In June 2020, Brazilian federal police burst into a sprawling luxury apartment overlooking the beach in the wealthy resort of Fortaleza. Residents watched on in astonishment as the man who had only moved in a couple of months earlier was hauled out the front door by armed police dressed in full tactical gear. The man had kept to himself during his short tenancy. This was not due to his polite and naturally unassuming demeanor, however. This was because he was an international fugitive who was on the run. This was one of the UK's most wanted men. Wanted in connection with Operation Escalade, a Police Scotland investigation into one of the country's top tier and most prolific serious organized crime groups. You are watching OCG TV. Chapter One, Operation Escalade. James White, 45, rose to the pinnacle of the organized crime network and was responsible for the distribution of drugs across Europe. His elevation to the top came after the disappearance of his former bosses, James and Barry Gillespie, siblings from Rutherglen who flooded Scotland with cocaine. It led them to being dubbed the Escobar brothers after the late Colombian drug lord. The brothers have not been seen since 2019 and it is believed they've met a violent end at the hands of the South American criminals who had been hiding them. OCG TV has already covered the wider story of Operation Escalade, and the video can be found in the link in the description below this video. When the brothers were no longer on the scene, White immediately took the reins. Around this time, Police Scotland had gone public with their search for various key members of the group that had fled overseas. This public appeal also involved Christopher Hughes, who was latterly sent to prison for 25 years for his role in the murder of the Dutch crime blogger Martin Koch. Unbelievably, when Christopher Hughes was arrested in January 2020 at the Gliss Hotel in Turin, northern Italy, he was with James White. Both men had false passports under the names of Eastern European men, whose identities had been acquired by a passport fraud gang based in Kent. Christopher Hughes went by the name of Alexeus Rustinovs from Latvia, while James White was going under the name of Svens Klav from Slovakia. It isn't clear what exactly happened when Hughes was apprehended, but White managed to convince Italian authorities that he was genuinely who he said he was and was allowed on his way. The origin of the false passports is a fascinating tale in itself. Anthony Beard, 61, and Christopher Zytek, 67, were caught after a covert surveillance operation by the National Crime Agency, found they provided fraudulently obtained genuine passports, FOGs, to organized criminals over a five-year period. Customers paid between 5,000 and 20,000 pounds for the highly sought-after documents, which were issued authentically, but applied for using false information. They allowed them to operate abroad and carry on conducting criminality affecting the UK. Among the recipients were fellow gang members Jordan Owens, Christopher Hughes, and brothers James and Barry Gillespie. They also supplied fraudulent passports to Liverpool drug trafficker Michael Mugan and Manchester fugitive David Wally. White went on to acquire a further false identity from Zytec, this time a Vincent McCall from Suriname. He then fled to Brazil, where he paid £1,065 in cash to stay at a hotel. He eventually relocated to a rented apartment in Fortaleza. Despite becoming one of the UK's most wanted men, White, from Gartkosh in Lanarkshire, continued to direct operations while on the run abroad. He exchanged 33,000 encrypted texts with 70 associates in just two months in 2020, setting up drug trafficking deals, ordering the petrol bombing of a business in the Algarve, and demanding a rival was slashed. Whilst on the run in Brazil, he had a whirlwind romance with beauty Paula Gomez. When White was picked up by police, she wrote him a tribute on Instagram. She said, I will never forget all that you have done for me. Actually, remembering you is remembering me. You are a very special person, very special. I believe I never knew anyone with such a marvelous heart. I only desire that your life gives you great victories and this great storm will pass quickly from your life. You are more than an incredible human being. 
You are proof that good exists on earth, and yes, there are persons who give importance to others, and that there are still good persons. I adore you, JW. It was becoming obvious that the end was near. There is only so long a man can sustain himself whilst he's cut off from resources while based overseas. He discussed with his former wife about returning to the UK to face trial if he made enough money and got a good deal, saying £10 million would be sufficient and doable. Chapter 2 The Drugs Wine was linked to two separate smuggling plots during the investigation into the gang. First, he was linked to the seizure of 10 million pounds of cocaine after an HGV was stopped by Border Force officials in Dover in November 2017. It had arrived from Alicante in Spain, bound for a fake company set up by the gang in Rochdale, Greater Manchester. Secret voids had been constructed in the lorry to stash 90 taped blocks of cocaine. It emerged that 16 other shipments to Rochdale had been made during the previous two years. White later directed an associate to set up another fake business in Glasgow to help continue traffic narcotics from abroad. This was his right-hand man, Paul Fleming, also from Glasgow. The pair set up a fake solar panel company called Adastra Off Grid, located in Spain as cover to smuggle multi-kilo consignments of cocaine from Brazil, Colombia and Bolivia through various shipping routes for onward transfer to the UK. The pair used contacts established by fellow gang member David Sell, who made regular trips to Brazil to meet with top cartel lieutenants before he was jailed in 2018. The plan was made easier to coordinate as Fleming lived in Alicante, southern Spain, and White spoke fluent Spanish. On April 4th, 2020, Mr. Fleming sends Mr. White the following message. They are doing this Green Lane's plan to keep everything moving so produce isn't getting delayed. More or less, everything is green. He was referring to an industry term within shipping whereby Green Lanes had minimal security checks for well-established companies, while lanes marked red and amber involved tougher security measures. White then replies, Feel like throwing 100 kilograms on the next one, lol? Police later raided an industrial unit in London where they discovered solar panels with special engineered compartments to hide illicit contraband. White's grip on the gang's drug business had even seen him turn on a former friend. He targeted Robert Allen over an unpaid £90,000 cocaine debt in 2013. He had fled Scotland having been unable to sell the haul said to belong to the Gillespies. Chapter 3 MPC phones. As is often the case when people are involved in criminality, individuals sometimes have a legitimate business as well as their illegal sidelines. This was the case with the criminal group in which James White was involved. White and the Gillespie brothers created their own encrypted phone brand, Maximum Protection Communications, or MPC for short. White had a second sideline alongside drug trafficking. He had a passion for boxing and began lock stock promotions which hosted boxing nights across Scotland with up and coming fighters. The crime group would advertise MPC at these fight nights, promoting the brand across branded boxing ring floors and scantily clad women wearing the brand emblazoned across a t-shirt. For MPC, the process of setting up the devices was relatively simple. MPC would take a Google Nexus 5 or Nexus 5X Android phone and then add its own security features and operating system. MPC then created the customer's messaging accounts, added a data-only SIM card, which MPC paid about £20 a month for, and then sold the phone to the customer at £1,200. Six-month renewals cost £700, resulting in a very profitable cash cow business model. MPC only sold around 5,000 phones, but that still indicates the business netted the company some £6 million. Sometimes the devices have the microphone, camera and GPS functionality removed. Some also have a dual boot mode, where powering on the device as normal will show an innocuous menu screen with no sensitive information. But if certain buttons are held down when turning the phone on, it will reveal a secret file system containing the user's encrypted text messages and other communications. 
With these tweaks, the ordinary methods for law enforcement to intercept messages are cut off. Police can't simply get an ordinary phone tap or subpoena messages from a company. The texts are typically only available in a readable form on the user's devices. MPC was even used as part of a plan to kill crime blogger Martin Koch. The Dutchman had recently named Moroccan drug kingpin Ridwan Tagi on his crime blog Vlinders Crime. The brothers arranged a scheme to build trust with Koch, paying him to run MPC adverts on his website, the source said. MPC paid Koch around 13,000 euros to keep him wanting to meet with the company, and eventually MPC put him on a plate for the Moroccans to pull the trigger. Chapter 4 The Sentence White had only been on the run for six months when Brazilian detectives forced their way into his apartment in June 2020. He then spent 20 months on remand in Brazil fighting extradition to the UK. Investigators discovered White had no legitimate income and his luxury lifestyle was funded by serious organized crime for several years with no earnings records since 2004. Despite this, he and his ex-wife paid a £700 a month mortgage, enjoyed a lavish wedding in September 2015 and had holidays in Mexico, the US and Paris. Police raids in 2017 and 2020 found the White's home littered with designer clothes, jewellery and footwear, including a £21,000 watch. Messages on EncroChat phones revealed the couple splashed out on quad bikes and jet skis for their kids, plus garden improvements to boost the value of their home with cash that can't be banked. When he faced a Scottish court in July 2023, the judge imposed a jail term of nine years, ten months and said he would have liked to have jailed White for longer, but was constrained by law. He said White's offending was of the utmost seriousness, involving a degree of criminality seldom seen by the courts in Scotland. He added, The extent of your criminality was such that, had a higher headline sentence been open to me, I would have concluded that the appropriate headline sentence would in fact have been in excess of 15 years. He was told by a judge that for nearly 10 years he had been a senior member of the organised crime group operating across three continents in Scotland and England, Italy, the Netherlands, Belgium, Spain, Portugal, France, Russia, the United Arab Emirates and Brazil. Paul Fleming pleaded guilty in July 2022 to directing five gang members involved in the plot between December 29, 2017 and January 7, 2022 at locations in Scotland, England and Spain. He called the shots in the sale and supply of cocaine and cannabis and admitted to identifying premises for stashing drugs and money and arranging the importation of prohibited firearms and ammunition. Fleming admitted ordering gang members to hide and move cash in premises and vehicles in the interests of furthering organised crime. He was jailed for nine years. You have been watching OCG TV. We're working hard behind the scenes to create more content for you to enjoy. It would really help the channel grow if you could like this video, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel.